Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Voyager 19, which is a claustrophobic space exploration horror game where you must control a small ship to take pictures of planets and stars. The official goal of this mission is to search for habitable planets in the Okurulu sector, but your real mission is to figure out what happened to the Miguel Sans expedition that went missing there. The public is unaware that they've deviated from the original course and cut communications. We need to know what happened before it gets publicized. We provide you a Voyager 19 series spacecraft, we're gonna die. It's basic, but it has hibernation tech and fractional light speed cap capable of engines. The electronics are the main limitation. Radiation will degrade them, that's not good, on interstellar flights, but they will remain functional for the seven missions we've commissioned you for. Begin. So quick note, this game is from the same developer as Endoparasitic. That was the horror game where you basically had to navigate with one arm. So anyway. It's our OS. Wow, this is... This is a space coffin. In a truest sense. Okay, mission, navigation, sensors, power files. Files. Mission info. How to properly document planets. Photograph all system planetary bodies from the starlit side. Stars may be photographed from any angle. Record five seconds of each of radio near each celestial body. Power. Hmm. Life support on. Let's just turn that off. Now we got plenty of power. We should probably not do that. Camera. Navigation, thrusters, radio. So life support's gotta always be on. Or, maybe not. You know, it knows it didn't instantly kill us. Sensors. Radio off, no picture, take picture, sensors. Camera power off, radio off. Because we've got to turn those all off. Mission. Four plants photographed, plants recorded, missions completed. Navigation. So... Turn navigation on, thrusters on, back. I mean, we're at a planet right now, right? So, actually, off, camera on, radio on, back, sensors, no picture. Okay. Not centered. Thrusters, power off. So we don't need navigation, I think. Picture good. Recording a bleed. Okay. So we got that. We'll turn the camera and radio off. First was on, navigation on. Maybe I should turn that on? Let me see. Mm, I'll just keep it like that for right now. So that's already taken a picture of. Let's go up here and... They said the star side, right? Okay, so we're there. Power, navigation off, radio. Just turn the camera on. Everything else can kind of really stay on. Sensors. We gotta take a picture. What the hell are we recording? It's a moon. Turn the ship a little bit. A little more. Just for myself, anyway. Okay. It's a moon. Camera off. Navigation on. I want to see what happens if you leave the radio on when we navigate. So we'll go over to this big boy. The... this place here. 
Okay, so the radio just turns off, so we can kind of just leave it on, I think. We hear distinct noises as we fly. Power. Can I just leave it all on? I mean, is there a downside? There's nothing here. Probably got face south. A little more. Good enough. Okay. Maybe, oh, the power's probably gonna degrade, so this is gonna eventually become more of an issue. Mission. Okay, navigation. Go down here. Once again, it has to be on the star side. Whoa, what is going on here? Good picture of this moon. Files. Okay, um... Complete mission. Before we complete the mission, I'm gonna um, do just one little thing here. I'm gonna go south of this planet. Navigate there. And I'm gonna take a picture. Right? Now this is just gonna be space, but if we turn to the north... And relative to space... You see, it is just a... It's just basically a black circle within the space. It's because it's, this is the dark side of the uh, moon. Not in light. But yeah, I just want to confirm that. So there is kind of a world. It's not just, oh, there's only one thing here. Anyway, mission complete. Entering hibernation. Alright. Uh, my pixels are rotting. Power. So we just still have, like, all our power right now. So we got three planets. We get to take it this time. Uh, files. Nothing really new here. So we'll navigate. Um, we are kind of already near one, which is this star right here. So we don't need to do anything right there. Take a picture. No, it's not a... It is actually just a... Planet. Picture good. Okay. We're gonna navigate to the south one. The LK-1. Sensors. Oh wait, I have to turn south. Hold up. Straight. Little bit. Wrong way. Picture good. There's nothing of real note there. Gotta go to the north. Travel. So look, yeah, actually, look, there's, there's a physical entity there, kind of. Because as we slowly pass through that body, we heard the unique sound through that body. So it was consistent. Recording. Yeah, turn it more. That's a funny shape you got there. No, it's just a lens angle. Alright, we're good. Mission complete. Entering hibernation. Mission complete. Alright, how's the power looking? We have lost some power, so now this is going to become more of a mechanic. So, 
now we only can have certain so many things. Navigation is gonna be the one that's gonna basically have to go. Thrusters have to stay on, and we'll uh, just keep radio on. That's it. Okay, mission. There's three of them. Everything is degrading on my monitor, but it is fine. Okay, once again, we are already here. We'll just take one right now. So. Radio. Picture. Oh, pretty. It was still a good picture. I just want a better look at. Okay. Navigation. Power. Camera. Later on, this will get, like, a lot more tedious. Okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. That is the thing we're looking for. Let's get these planets first, because that might be a very important story thing to happen there. Okay. Should be pretty good. Alright. Now you're the one that's in the title screen. I'm a little concerned about that. You're not like a man-eating planet, are you? You have like a secret smile in the end. Alright. Now radio up No, radio on. This one. I'm doing the files. So now we're going to check out the missing vessel. Yeah, look how it curved around the astral body. As it makes its approach. It's just a small... Oh, ah! Micrometeorite. Damn. It's fine. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, everything got turned off. Okay. Thrusters should be on. Camera should be on. Radio should be on. Alright. Sensors. Nothing in range. Now, if I know my angle correctly, it'd be somewhere around here. There's nothing. Too far. You need nothing in range. It moved. Hold up. Hey. Wait, no, I... That's, uh... That's me, I'm... I'm being dumb. We, we stopped midway. There we go. Because of the hit. Okay. There you are. Picture good. I mean, I don't necessarily see anything really weird about it. It might have just been hit by a meteorite or something. Mission complete. Start decryption before travel. Okay. That's mission info. Chip log. Decrypting. Time left three years. Jolene 3 encrypted. Encrypted. Chat log. I guess I can only uh, unencrypt one thing. Complete mission. Check out my files. Anomaly detected at System LK, exploration target planet LK2, potentially habitable. 
does not exist. Report error in Astronomical Data Exploration Committee. Planet does not exist. LK2. Decrypting this. Four years. God, this is a real long-term mission. All right. Navigation course standard to the north, by the way. Power is not terrible. Camera thrusters. Da -da 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 -da. Sensors. We're already pointing in the right place. Ooh, a little loud on there in the peaking. Okay. Navigation. What are we looking at here? We got two things on the left. LK2 was the important one of note. That's PL2. I'm just curious if it's here. No. PL1. We'll go PL1. I mean, it has the number one next to it. Power. Some fairly standard noises I'm hearing right here. Sensors. Take picture. We gotta, like, change our angle a bit. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Good. That's done. Navigation. We'll head over the PL2. Get this done and then head back home. Well, not really head back home. We're kind of stuck in here, but you know what I mean. Head back to our hibernation. Glorious hibernation. Huh. I'm not really getting anything. That! Is that, is that a, a planetary body? Like, what is that? I'm not, I'm not gonna question that, I mean... Things are falling apart in here. Okay, we got a new file decrypted. Joel Entry. Certain physical principles hold true across massive size differences and create illusions of similarity. A cell looks like a star in a supernova, our eyes like a nebula. What if these similarities apply to life at different scales as well? Oh my god, we live in the eye of a giant monster. Decrypt this one for three years. Um, five um, planetary bodies in this one we have to take care of. How's the power looking? Urgh. Well, camera and radio, because we always start near a uh, thing. I think. Well, we have to have... Oh, uh, yeah, because now thrusters don't work. Oh, they did not start us next to a thing this time. Interesting. Interesting. So now it's... Essentially, we, uh... Have to just pick travel or... One specific thing. It's so navigation... Thrusters on. What I can do is... Is spin my thing around ahead of time. Just get that over with like that. And then... Picture good. 
as a beautiful sun. Okay, that one's done. Let's go over this next big boy. The FD-0A. What we can also do is just spin this around ahead of time. So when we land, like we're basically aiming the right way. Okay. We're a little off, but we'll get the radio recording and turn that off. A little more. There we go. Wait, as your navigation, the thruster's on. Oh, I should probably start decrypting my next file. No, I already did. Okay, so... Who do we want to fly next to next? FD1, that's fine. Alright, power... Do radio first. All right, radio camera on. Picture should be good enough. Yep. Good, good, good navigation. We'll kind of go north and uh, swing up here a bit. FT3. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Okay. Radio, get that over with. Get on. It's a good moon. Okay, one more planetary body. FD2. Power radio. That's uh That's a pulse. Turn the thrusters off, um camera and radio. Heartbeat, right? That's the thing we saw the other day. Are we not concerned about this? It has a heartbeat. But now it's more full. It's not like as many lines. I don't know. I mean, the mission's definitely done. Complete mission. Check a new file out. Oh man, only two power. These predators may mimic food of... Wait, what? Or sexual partners to lure in their prey. 
One example is a snapping turtle whose tongue resembles a worm and can wriggle around. When fish attempt to eat it, they will instead be eaten by the turtle. Another form of aggressive mimicry is found in... Uh... Let's do crypt chat, chat log right there. Preplanetary bodies. Okay, well, at least we don't have to go very far. So power is looking a little iffy. So... I don't think we need to worry about the thrusters right now. Camera and radio. I can barely... Good. Camera off, navigation on. The two ZW one or two W one? Something like that. All right. Should be easy. I think we're maybe facing the right way for the most part. Let me see. No law. Fish are good. I mean, it's good enough for me. Good enough for me, good enough for you. Navigating. Alright, let's check this one out. Now, while we're here, I can probably adjust it to the right angle from the bat. Nothing of like real like weirdness. There's something a little more to the right, right? Maybe I'm just seeing stuff like noise. Let's see if I can mimic that again. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Okay. You know, I'm curiosity. Turn the radio back on. All right. Nothing of note. I mean, wasn't this? Where was the fourth body? It was free originally, right? Oh no. I gotta check it out. I mean, we do have a job. I mean, just right dead on. Radio. Pulse. The heart. Not centered. I thought I got centered, but I probably didn't. A little bit more. Egg. I mean, our mission's done.
Man, this thing is pixelized. A lot of dead pixels. User 147. He's changed our course and disabled the comm system. User 26. Right, so the committee can't remotely override our route when they find out. This is dangerous. The ship is designed to last all at least 60 years. But with the route he wants, we'll be out here for almost 100. I know it's crazy, but what if his theory is right? It's an anomaly in the data. We should expect that given how far out we are. The team back home is good, but they're trying to interpret sub-pixels of telescope images. You're trying to run from something. That's what happened. You didn't make it. Four bodies. Only one? Do we have to turn off life support? Because I mean... Yes. Well, we're already here, so... Camera. Oh man, not censored really. So how are we getting back? Picture good. Camera off, radio on. Recording complete. So we need thrusters, we need navigation. But that also means... Move fast, move fast. Thankfully, these astral bodies are, like, right nearby. Life support on! Life support on! Life support on! <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. That's why they put the plants so close to each other this time. They knew. Okay, radio first. I am not sure if I want to be near this thing. bodies we have to investigate. There's one like to the way far north. I don't like that. We're gonna have to kind of do it in like steps. We're not gonna be like just navigate like there one go. We'll, we will die. So camera on. Navigation on. And then we're gonna have to do thrusters real quick. No, 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 no. Ooh. We should still be facing the right way. No, 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 no. Don't turn that off. Don't turn that off. Why do I hear the, the pulse again? This is a heartbeat. Whoa. Gotta take your chances right now. Less than the heartbeat. It's the same thing. Huh. Okay. So. It's gonna be a little funny. Now, can I put this in before? 
Like, can I, like, put the destination in and just kind of come back here and it'll be, like, saved? Then just turn the thrusters on? It will, actually. That's, that's actually perfect. So, this is actually easier than I thought. You don't, you only need the navigation on to just move the little dot dot. So, you don't need to play with the life support. Now, I do need to turn this. Maybe right around there. No, we're more to like it's left. So let's just slap you right there. A little faster. Oh boy. Hopefully nothing happens. Oh, it's not in light. Well, we gotta move a little bit. It's just a, a planet. Looks kind of like an Earth. Huh. Yeah, because we were... Uh, we gotta kind of go there instead. We're shooting that. Okay. And then turn it straight ahead. <laughs> Impact. Cause unknown. Not much power left. Turn the camera on. We'll r do radio first, would you? Uh, what is that? Uh, what is... It is opening itself up. It is getting closer. I think. No, it's leaving. Right? Wait. It's a dangly dang. Like up. Oh, it stopped. Thank God. Wait. Report. Voyager 19 craft has failed to establish communications. Losses cannot be hidden from public any longer. Recommend waiting until election cycle is over to announce. So, that's it for Voyager 19. So, this developer has made a few games, and they're actually pretty interesting games. Like, a lot of them deal with control limitations and stuff like that in their actual gameplay, aligning with their, like, their gimmick and story and theme. But it looks like this developer decided to essentially make their take on uh, Iron Lung. And I say that with pretty firm thing where you, you can easily see like it's hitting technically the same story beats as Iron Lung, even down to the ending and finale. 
it is essentially a, a takeoff on it with a little bit different controls and nature of how things are and everything. So Iron Lung, obviously, you were taking photos to just even navigate and kind of like go around. Iron Lung was a little more surreal, kind of a lot more weird and a bit more produced, kind of. This one is more of... It's kind of like a little more quiet, like it is, you know, space. And it's playing off more normal kind of eeriness of space kind of stuff. And then you throw in the uh, the Hellstar Ramina kind of thing with the, the planet that's really just like a predator. I also got some vibes from a recent horror movie. I, I forget its name. Uh, nope. It was called Nope. With the way the planet... And I know what it was doing. It's You could kind of see the string a little bit. Well, not a string, but like it's tendril. And the planet itself was literally just like a little dangly dang at the end of like a uh, like an anglerfish in space. Or as its comparison used was a uh, a uh, snapping turtle. Although in this case, I, I look kind of more like an anglerfish. So it was kind of waving the planet around afterwards. Once you got close enough, like, oh, look, I got one. And then I went in for the kill. But the way it unfolded out looked like the alien from Nope. So I actually wonder if there was some influence on that end also. I was trying to see if we could see what the the angler part of this alien looked like. And I did go and turn the thrusters on, but maybe at that point it was too late, or maybe you can't see it, like it's just off screen somewhere, and that's the point. But despite its iron lung, obvious kind of like tribute and influence, I do think it was still a pretty good horror game. As far as the iron lung clones kind of go anyway. It, it is one of the better ones and a little bit different. And I do think the quietest of this of a uh, space is sometimes underused. But yeah. Anyway. So if you go watch you play Voyager 19. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.